watched lions mating live and we're about to go follow lions hunting buffalo live in the middle of Africa. We're on Juma Private Game Reserve, which is part of the Sabi Sands, which is part of the Greater Kruger, which is part of the Greater Limpopo Transfrontier Park, which is eight and a half million acres of unfenced wilderness uh, where the animals can roam free and live their lives. And we're lucky enough to follow them on a daily basis on this live safari, uh, seeing little snippets into the secret lives of all these incredible creatures out here in Africa. Where are my gloves? Oh, I'm too excited. Let's, I'm not going to worry about putting on gloves. Let's get to lions hunting buffalo. Uh, Natasha in Ontario is wondering, what is my favorite thing about lions? Oh, that's a very difficult question, Natasha. Uh, because quite often lions are one of the less interesting animals to see in the bush because they sleep so much. But I think when they are active, there's very little can, that can beat the action that they give, whether they're mating or whether they're hunting. Uh, I, don't, I, I, I can't, let me think, what is my favorite thing about lions? I love their roars. Uh, mm. I would say it's the, it's the raw power, and if you're ever lucky enough to get to see them hunting, especially things like buffalo, hippo, and even elephant, uh, it's that raw power that they exude, and those muscles that ripple, I'd say is probably my favorite thing about the lions. Whoa! Lions everywhere today. There's three female lions in Torchwood as well. Those must be either Styx Talamati or even possibly um, what are they? Uh, Torchwood Pride. <laughs> okay. We're here now. They're the buffalo. Now those, they're the lions. I'm just gonna, I think I'm going to go around the other way. So we've got buffalo right here. If we look on our right. So there they are. Buffaloes, buffaloes, buffaloes. And not more than 50 meters away watching them. Oh, I didn't even see her. <laughs> uh, let me rephrase that. Not more than 30 meters away. I was looking at the other lions. There she is. That looks like amber eyes. Now I can't see. This looks like a group of dugger boys. It's a big old buffalo bull. They're going to be watching to see if there's any one that's probably got limp or showing a bit more weakness. Now, three lionesses, it is possible for them to catch a big buffalo bull like this. And especially now that we're in a drought, they might be not on the tip top condition. So I want to ask Herbie something. Herbert, Herbert. Herbie, where's the Shambi of Nyari? Or is it just these dagger boys? Copy, thanks. Oh, the cubs, the cubs. Now, they're obviously spending time with the pride at the moment and just make them up through the trees. 
Now, of course, if a buffalo happened to smell those cubs, they would try to trample them. So you'll probably find the cubs will stay probably really close to where we are if the lionesses do decide to have a full go at the buffalo. A comment from Jamie who is saying, watching the lions, she's watching them down this fire break all the way from camp. Okay, here we go. While Peter battles the grim and look, she's just changed her body stature. Um, Cubs, you're going to get into trouble, little guys. Look at that. Look at that. She's changed. She's obviously picked up on something. I'm just going to move back a little bit and I'm going to put ourselves in a position where we might be able to see a lot of what happens. There's another lioness, so that's one, two, three that we can see. There could be four of them here. Now, if there are four of them, that could really increase their chances. Now, what I'm doing is I'm putting myself in a position where I think the buffalo are going to run. Uh, now, when it comes to following hunting big cats, uh, having a little bit of cat intuition and putting yourself in the right place is, is the best way to see what's actually going down. So it's great being behind the lines, and that's why I wish Jamie's car was working, because if we could put two vehicles into this, it'd be incredible, because um, we'd position ourselves so we've got two dis different views, but hopefully those gremlins are fixed shortly. Now I'm just going to sneak until I can see the lioness. I'm just checking. Also, I'm doing my own cat appraisal of the buffalo, seeing if I can see any weaknesses. So I'm thinking like a lion at the moment. So I'm saying, is there one with a limp? Is there maybe a slightly younger bull who's been left behind, who might be a little bit easier to catch? stand by here. Now, look, 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 look. She's, she's coming towards them. Now, we know there's another lioness below that we can't see. This is Amber Eyes. Oh, um, okay, just, you got it? Oh, oh no, don't go for the one behind us. So she's assessing who's going to be the weakest. And this might take a while. They might follow them for f half an hour, 40 minutes. Now there's almost no wind. And these are the buffalo bulls that we see around the Juma Pan. So that buffalo is a little bit separated from the others. It's also the closest to the lioness at the moment, although he is a very big boy. He is looking quite old, a little bit stiff in the legs, but no obvious signs of massive weakness. And of course, this is a formidable animal. Uh, a big lioness weighs probably 300 pounds or so. A big buffalo weighs over 1,600 pounds. So here we go. They're slowly moving off grazing. I'm just watching where the lioness is and I'm 
Köszönöm.